Hello it's Jay here again and welcome to another tutorial. In this lesson we're continuing on with the main menu creation and in this lesson we're going to be adding music and sound effects. But for now let's downsize mono develop. We'll make sure we're in our main menu scene and we'll come to main camera where we have our script attached and we need to add audio and an audio source and I'm going to untick play on awake now you want to make sure that all of these are unticked because we're going to actually manage this via code and we can just collapse that back up for now and now we can come to our script and the first thing we need to create is three public audio clip and we'll call the first one underscore main menu music we'll close the line off and we'll put it into comments so we'll say create slot in inspector to assign main menu music and once we have that we'll just copy this line twice and we'll just swap out the variable so the next one I'll call underscore start audio and the next one I'm sure you've guessed underscore quit audio and I'll just bring those back into line and we'll swap out the comment so here we'll just change that to start audio and quit here And we'll just save there okay now we have our audio clips in place let's do something with them now the first thing I want to do is play the start and the quit audio when we hit the button here so before we load level so I'm going to come here and enter I want to get component open brackets audio source and close and open and close again. Now please note what type of brackets I'm using here and here. And what we're getting is this component here. Come back to the script. And now we're going to say dot play one shot. Which basically means we just want to play it once. We'll open brackets underscore and it's the start audio we want to play and we'll close brackets there and we'll close the line off and we'll put this into comments so we'll just say play start audio once and I'll just fix that little typo there and we can just copy this line and we'll paste it in for the quit button and of course we'll just swap out the variable and we'll just change the comment here as well so we'll just hit save again so it's quite simple we get the component we get the audio source we attached here we play it once what we want to play and that's as easy as playing a sound effect is and now we're going to create another function and we'll put it here and I'm going to say void and I'm just going to call this music manager we'll open and close brackets we'll open and we'll close again and we'll come into the start function and we'll call that function music manager open and close brackets and we'll close the line off and we'll put it into comments so we'll say start the music manager function and we'll come inside that function so now we need a few lines of code so we'll get component again and I'm sure you've guessed it's going to be audio source close brackets open and close exactly the same as what we've done here 
for the first part at least. This time we're going to say dot clip and it's going to be equal to our main menu music and we'll close the line off and we'll put it into comments so we'll just say audio clip equals main menu music which basically means the audio clip we want to play is this one and we'll come here and we'll assign get component audio source open and close brackets again we'll say dot play we'll open and close brackets and we'll close the line off so we're saying to play the audio clip which we've just defined here and one last line of code get component same again audio source close brackets open close dot and this time we want the dot loop function and we want this to be true because we want the music to loop while ever it's idling on the main menu so we'll just say that set music to loop and we can save the script off here and now we can actually downsize the script we're checking the console we have no errors and we have three clips to assign so we'll come and the same way as I did with the artwork where I created a folder and dragged and dropped it in within Windows I've done the same with sounds and I'm using public domain sounds because they're copyright free just for the purposes of this tutorial now there are better sounds available and I really suggest you know having a look on the assets store to see what clips and what music is available but I've just using these because they're copyright free for YouTube purposes so let's drag one of the music clips into main menu music and we'll come to the public domain sound effects and I'll just assign these in no particular order I'll use different sounds in my final project and we'll hit play and hopefully you can hear the sound effect if we hit quit we can hear quit and if we hit start yeah you can hear that little click I'll have to change that sound effect I think because it obviously uh, wasn't quite good enough but uh, as you can hear the music and the sound effects are now working so I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time bye for now